met up with Anthony at Hillsville, had a nice cup of coffee. Now we're heading up to King Lake, just come through Chum Creek. And it's all burnt. sprouting again madly. Isolated houses and the crests of hills here that survived. But they're surrounded here by large green open spaces, and all that survived there. The lovely dairy country, but behind these cows, the fire rushed up in the undergrowth, raced up the trees. And then it didn't crown out and right across there it went over the top of all that country we've just come up through this valley here and it's taken most of that valley where we came up and some of these little isolated patches are okay that open then right. yeah. yeah the map's got Forest Discovery Centre and everything in CJ Dennis town. Just as well the fire didn't come down and get these pretty rhododendrons and all these very dense botanias and things. It would have been a real pity if they'd gone up. Evacuate the town or the kids. I'd say the town would have evacuated itself. But where do they go? This is the see if they have water. <laughs> Look at all the and there's only the one road through, so yeah, it's it burned it. all around. Yeah, so dozens of houses down the side streets. Mm. Oh, and oh, here we are, good. only about one a kilometre yeah. past, so. Yeah, so Tulangi had fires within a kilometre a kilometer on either side. Well, came down the road. Yeah, look at that. Came down the road, look at that. Yeah, 
which didn't go up. That's a bit lucky. Yeah. Right in the centre of town, those trees with their bark burnt off. Well, we've crossed the main highway past Whittlesea and Romsey and uh, kept going west to Hang Rock. Just thought we'd stop in for a quiet quiet coffee at Hanging Rock. There's a $10 entrance fee these days. We came in here with Dennis and Dillian, I think, years ago. And they're offering helicopter rides, it looks like. Well, there's the nice peonies that we're trying to grow down the back. But it's all closed for the Helicopter work. They're doing essential track maintenance. Well, we had dinner last night at the, some club, the Bastopool Bowling Club. Now we had a night at the Big Four, and we're going to catch up with Anthony and head off to South Australia. And we're here at the Eureka. Huge, large artificial place symbolising the spirit of Australia, would you believe? And a multi million dollar flagpole. Looks like such an interesting place, Ballarat, that we'll come back for a week in the future. Found his car. later at the railway station. Well, would you believe we're in a pub at Dimboola? It's cold and windy and threatening rain, so we decided to pop into the Victoria Hotel. There's a Dimboola pub. It's being restored and it's burnt down, or well, half burnt. 
burnt the top off. Now we're staying here and having dinner. And out of the weather. They're happy drinkers. Okay, everybody on this. <laughs> oh, it is. It is better with the lights on, though. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good, Nick. Can building. we, can we, we dine? We just painted it all. Can we dine here tonight? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's for special occasions, is it? Oh, I normally only open on the weekend. Oh, okay. Because it's just not worth me heating this room. Yeah. Because it's um. Takes a long time to heat. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Would you believe, would you buy me a beer if I told you your curiosity has just cost you two dollars for a children's hospital? All the crops are green in the neighbourhood and barley's growing which we passed and they're very pleased with the rainfall at the moment in the pub. <coughs> There we go. In case I should have a pillow me on. <laughs> oh, the river's flowing again. First time in a few years they've had enough rain to fill it up. Not sure if there's a no, weir. It's come down from which where way is it flowing? From? I don't know. Trying to find the old weir in Dimboola before we move on to Neil. It's rained and the river's full up for the first time since 1996 or something or other. They were saying. 96 for water in the river, but the river's actually flowing apparently, so we'll check out the weir. Like they've mown uh, jogging tracks for the locals. And we've followed along this little track here. Very nice day. It was one degree last night and it's now 10.30. We'll do a show next weekend with Dimboola and up to where they had the Jewish stock take up here at the poor old Dimboola Hotel Oh, well, after our bought coffee and buns we found a free coffee just down the road on the Wimmera Bridge one of the Mark bridges on the road. I was flying up to Lake Hindmarsh. <laughs> Trying to see how they change the, the gauge. We're a while getting around that corner. Photo opportunity. Photo opportunity. Photo opportunity. Oh, okay. We'll turn right down here and I'll pull up and see well, if you can get ahead of him. But... I'm still trying to negotiate the 